gamers, welcome to another edition of Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host as always, Dragon Dust. And ladies and gentlemen, today I want you to sit back, grab you a cold one, grab the one you love, put your dog or cat beside you, because today we are going to talk about a game that is finally coming to the Xbox One. It originally was on the Xbox, and ladies and gentlemen, that game is the holy grail of Star Wars games. I am talking Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, so let's get started. So ladies and gentlemen, if it sounds like I'm excited, it's because I am. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is one of the greatest Star Wars RPG games I have ever played hands down. Now, Bioware did try to recreate a like sequel type deal to this, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, and it only went to PC. And the problems were just horrid with that game. It's still going, but it's loaded with microtransactions. Uh, if you want really great stuff, you may have to pay like a monthly fee. And it showed proof that multiplayer is not the mainstay. It really isn't. So, I guess you're wondering, what makes Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic so great? What makes me so happy to see it coming from the original Xbox up to the Xbox One? Well, in the next segment, I'm going to tell you, so stay right there. So, one of the number one things that makes Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic so great is those grubby little, game-destroying, ignorant, moronic, dumbass bastards at EA are not over this game. EA has a track record for fucking up great games, people. Let's face it, I mean, they touch stuff and they destroy it. The Mass Effect franchise starts out with Mass Effect 1, EA comes along, whoosh, destroyed. It's just that simple for them. I don't know what gets into them, I don't know what makes them game killers or studio killers, but they seem to enjoy killing game studios and other video games. I mean, hell, EA, retire from destroying great games for us, please. So, ladies and gentlemen, what's the next thing that makes Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic so great? Now, hold on to your hearts when I say this, but it has no microtransactions. Now, for those of you I might have put into a coma by saying that, or those of you who went, liar! It's true. Back in the day, they had no microtransactions. I know, I can't believe it myself. I was there, but they have no microtransactions on this game. Now, this is a game that was created by Bioware back before those grubby little bastards at EA got a hold of it. And they basically said, hey, no microtransactions. I don't even think the concept existed back then. I know, I'm shocked too. I, like I say, I was there. But there's no microtransactions on this game. That means, oh, by the way, no DLC. This game stood alone on one shot. You know, it, it basically was, you know, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, no DLC, no microtransactions, no bullshit. And that's what made it so damn great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to storyline and choice in storyline, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic definitely has to be considered the predecessor to Mass Effect in the fact that whatever choices you make affect the outcome of the game. People that you touch could be good or bad, and whatever you do, you know, affects whether or not you're with the light or dark side of the force. Now, I know in Mass Effect, it was um, protagonist and renegade, but with Star Wars, it's the light side or the dark side, people. Now, storyline, this is beyond a shadow of a doubt, the best story game I have ever played in my life. It has its twists and turns. I'm not going to do any spoilers for you. But, you know, hands down, I've never seen a game that had me so intrigued and wanted me to play more and find out what's going to happen next than Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This game created by Bioware back before those grubby little bastards at EA fucked up Bioware completely was one of the best games on Xbox, hands down. To me, I, I remember it won Game of the Year just on storyline. Now, to do that and not have any multiplayer, that says a lot for the uh, single-player games. It says a lot that storyline can carry a game and that people over at EA should not fuck around with something that was so great. Now, with that being said, you know, are you going to be getting Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. We want to hear from you. And if you've played this game and you remember it, give us a shout-out. Tell us what one of your favorite memories is from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We'd love to hear about it. So with that being said, I am Dragon Dust from Xbox Beyond the Box. Happy gaming, y'all.